stand up straight and tall. Bring the hips back over the ankles, shoulders up. Then step your feet wide apart, spread the arms out. Take the feet about wrist width apart. Turn the left foot in slightly, turn the right leg all the way out. Bend the right knee towards 90 degrees. Virabhadrasana 2, warrior 2. <clears throat> Hold here and breathe evenly in and out through your nose. As you continue to press into the outer heel, make sure that your right knee is tracking <clears throat> right over your right ankle. <clears throat> Bring the hands to the hips, tip the pelvis out over the right thigh, and place the right hand on the block, fingertips on the block. Stretch your left arm all the way overhead. Keeping the back heel anchored, see if you can start to bend the right knee deeper without the right knee twisting inward. Keep the right knee tracking over the ankle and squeeze the right hip into the midline. Instead of leaning forward, lean back over your right thigh. Take your left arm up to the ceiling. Press down into your feet. Come back up to stand. Take the block with you. Turn to the other side. Set the block down. So right foot pivots in about 10 degrees. Left leg turns out all the way. Spread the arms and bend the left leg. Virabhadrasana 2. Five breaths here. Watch the way the left knee is tracking. Make sure it's not caving in. Keep pressing the foot evenly. Bring the hands to the hips. Tip the pelvis, keeping the left side waist long. Put the left hand onto the block. Stretch your right arm all the way overhead and push from your right heel, from your top buttock, right buttock into your right heel. Push into the mat. Stretch past your right fingertips. Left knee still tracking, left hip still hugged in. Open up, back in the line of your left leg. Make sure you haven't leaned forward towards the inner foot. Take your right arm back up, press down into your feet, come back up, Vira two, straighten your left leg. Now turn your legs to the other side. Block is on the right side foot. If you have two blocks, really, it works a lot better. Spread the arms out, then place the hands on the hips. Just like in the last variation, uh, last transition, with the hands on the hips, tip the pelvis over the right thigh and set the hand onto the block. Take the left arm up. <laughs> Similar to the last pose, make sure you're not leaning forward. Squeeze your right hip in, open like your back is against the wall. As you hold here, effort to open without straining. So yogic breathing is steady breathing in and out through the nose. You don't have to do anything special. Press into your feet, come back up. <clears throat> Turn the legs to the other side. With the hands on the hips, tip the hips over the left thigh, left hand on the block, right arm up. Press down evenly into all four corners of your feet. Draw up through the ankles. Squeeze the left hip in and open like the back is against the wall. You can even practice against the wall if you're not sure what that would feel like. Effort to open up without straining. Press through your feet, come back up. Turn your left toes in, jump or step the arms and legs together. Stand up tall, mountain pose, Tadasana. Side chest lifted as you stretch into your inner feet. Lift the inner knees up. <clears throat> now bend the knees, jump or step wide. Put the hands on the hips and fold forward in between your legs. Keep pressing the feet down evenly. See how far your pelvis can take you into the forward fold. Then set the fingertips down onto the mat and inhale, make a flat back. <clears throat> Exhale, bend forward and down. Walk the hands back a bit. As the hands walk back, bend the elbows in. Let the head drop. With the elbows hugged in, lift the shoulder blades out of the ears. Now walk the hands forward again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands to the hips, press into your feet, come all the way up, and bring the legs together. Then step to the front of your mat and stand in Tadasana, mountain pose. Feet together, hips back over the ankles, hands to the hips, step the left foot back about three and a half feet, right foot stays at the front of your mat. <clears throat> Roll the elbows back. Lift the side chest and fold forward halfway from the pelvis, tip forward. Instead of letting your back round, move the side chest forward. Hug the elbows, lift the shoulder heads. Push the feet down evenly. Keep the legs active. 
See if you can tip just a little bit further from the hips. Then set the fingertips down. You may need to use blocks underneath your hands if you're right, if your hamstrings are very tight. <clears throat> but see if you can stretch further and further out over your leg. Instead of letting your belly drop, draw the sides of the navel in and move towards the spine, towards the heart with the navel. Then inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands to the hips, come back up. Step the left leg forward, feet together. Step the right leg back. <clears throat> Press the back heel, right heel into the mat. Tip the hips forward. As you fold forward halfway, keep driving into the back heel. Roll the upper arm bones towards each other. Move your side chest forward. Then set the fingertips down and fold all the way out over the left leg. Press the inner left foot down and hug the outer left hip in. Inhale, make a flat back, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the hips, press into your feet, come all the way up to stand and step your legs together. Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, arms go up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Step back, plank pose. Press the hands firmly and evenly. Move your sternum forward, legs strong, navel up. Now slowly stretch back to down dog. Try to keep the length of your spine. Try not to let your upper back round or your buttock tuck under. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, slowly downward facing dog. You might even need to bend your knees to keep the length of the spine, that's fine. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, slowly downward facing dog. Again, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, slow, downward facing dog. So now finding some vinyasa, some movement with breath. Inhale, exhale, step your right leg forward. Lower your back knee down. Point your left toes back. Bring your hands to your right knee and raise your left arm up to the ceiling. Low lunge. Stretch through the front of the left hip. Then tap your left elbow to your right knee. Bring your palms together. When you twist, there's a tendency to like grip up. So instead of gripping up a bunch, relax your jaw, your tongue, relax your belly back to your spine, then see if you can twist more. Then curl the back toes under, lift the back knee up, and stretch your left inner leg long like you're pushing the heel into a wall. Lift the back knee up higher. Keep lengthening as you twist. Lower the back knee back down, put the hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Step your left foot all the way up to your left thumb. Lower the back knee. Point the toes back. Hands come to your left knee, come all the way up. Then take the right arm up and overhead. Tap the right elbow to the knee. Bring the palms together. Feel the navel loosen back towards the spine. Relax jaw, neck. Then see if you can lift and turn your chest a little bit more. Feel the navel drawing in and turning to help more. Curl the back toes under. Now lift the back knee and stretch that back leg long. Stretch through the inner heel. Lift the back thigh bone. Keep lengthening as you twist. Length is more important. Lengthen straight out through your midline. Breathe steady in and out through your nose. Notice that tendency to strain here. Lower the back knee back down. Bring your hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. From down dog, walk your feet all the way up to the front of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Hold, draw the shins back, release the top thighs down, lift from the side body. 
As steady as you can without twisting, step the left foot back into warrior one. So that means the heel goes down. Now bring your right thumb to your tailbone and slide the tailbone down. <clears throat> Try to lift through the front of your pelvis more. Don't let the left thigh buckle. Left knee straight. Reach past your left fingers. Right knee track straight ahead. Keep that knee tracking forward. Now spin your back heel up. Step your back leg forward. Both arms go up. Chair pose. <clears throat> Fierce pose. Step the right leg back. Warrior one. So the heel goes down. The toes are turned in. Bring your left thumb to your tailbone now. Move that tailbone and make yourself come upright. As the tailbone glides down, keep the right inner thigh turned back. Right inner knee lifts up towards the chest. And now reach up past your right fingers. Spin the back heel up. Without twisting, step the right leg forward. Inhale, both arms up and overhead. Press up, stand up, Samastiti. Release the arms to your side. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, Arda. Step back, downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, knees down. Lower all the way to your belly. Then push back up onto your hands and your knees and lower just to elbow height this time then lift back up without your collarbones narrowing keep the chest broad lower to elbow height push back up keep the navel in try not to let yourself dip in the waist lower slowly press right back up building arm strength for chaturanga slowly to elbow height press straight back up watch your form lower slowly navel in as you push straight back up lower slowly navel in as you lift back up couple more times good then lower all the way down stretch your arms straight back behind you keep working lift the legs up <clears throat> just an inch up off the mat and engage the legs spin the inner thighs up move your tailbone towards your heels kneecaps tight then see if you could stretch your arms forward reach back long through the big toes keep moving through the side chest past the fingers reach as long as you can get Bring the hands back to your side. <coughs> then lower yourself down. Rest one cheek on the mat. Put your hands next to your side ribs, bottom side ribs. And we're going to practice up dog. Rolling the chest up. Elbows hug in. So first move into cobra. Now slowly, without the shoulder heads coming forward, begin to roll yourself up another inch or two, another inch or two, and then lower back down. Push up onto hands and knees. Sit back onto your heels. And sit your hips back and stretch your arms forward. Virasana. Hero's pose. Let the back release. Good, then come for upright virasana. So sit with the block in between your heels and press the calf muscle down as you go to sit back onto the block. Then sit up straight and tall. If that low height of the block is too low, you might need to turn it up a notch. Put the right fingertips behind you, left hand to the outside of your right knee. As you're twisting, first look to sit up tall. So notice as your lower back rounding back, move the sacrum in the top of the buttock and lift as you twist. Come back to center and twist to the other side. Good, then back to center. Put the hands back behind you, about a foot behind you. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Stretch the chest up. Turn the inner armpits forward, outer shoulders back. Then walk the hands back towards you. Come onto the hands and knees, cross the legs behind you, sit back. And take a blanket. If you have a blanket, fold it in half. 
and sit on the blanket. You can really use anything. You could use a couple towels. Before I got yoga blankets, I used to use towels, but a yoga blanket would be a great investment if you can afford one or two. So bring your right leg into like a tree pose shape for Janu Shirshasana. Bring the heel close to your pubic bone, knee out wide. Take your right arm up and reach with your right hand to grab a hold of the outside of your foot. If you can't get the outside of your foot, use the strap like I'm showing. And as you inhale, lengthen. Instead of how far forward you can get, let me see how long the spine can get. Draw the navel in and up towards your heart and turn your chest towards your outer left foot. The right knee is out to the side like a tree pose leg. Good, then release that. Bring the right knee back to center and stretch the right leg out. Then bend the left knee out to the side. Bring the heel in close towards your pubic bone. <clears throat> Sit up tall, raise the left arm up, inhale, and reach with your hand to the outside of your foot. Can't get the foot, strap the foot, and instead of sinking, pull up. Draw the navel in, pull up, flat back. Descend the top of the right thigh, and make sure that that right knee points straight up, it's not turned out at all. Stretch your left inner knee away from you. Couple more breaths here to lengthen. Then come back up. Bring the left knee back up and stretch the leg out. Sit in Dandasana, sit tall. Raise the right arm up without sinking. Try not to sink back. Take the left arm up as well. Keep going straight up. Press through your inner feet. Top thighs down like you put big heavy sandbags on them. Now lift from the sides of your hips straight up with your arms. Try not to sink back. Good, then bring the arms back down. And let's do a little bit of inversion time. So now shoulders on that blanket, head and neck off. Lift the buttock up and slide the butt block underneath your sacrum. Roll the upper arm bones so you get up onto the tops of the shoulders. Use your hands, pull the mat out to the side, externally rotate the arm, upper arms, spin the biceps out. Feel the backs of the arms press and feel your shoulder blades plug in so your chest is open. Feel the feet press evenly into the mat. Then release the mat, turn the palms up. Breathe in your basic inversion, most basic variation of shoulder stand, bridge pose, Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. Then lift the buttock up, move the block to the side, move the blanket, lie flat for Shavasana. Blanket go underneath your head. <clears throat> Before we take Shavasana, let's just do a little twist. Cross the right knee over the left knee, spread the arms out, and slowly take the knees all the way over to the left. Try to keep your right shoulder heavy to the floor. Don't let the right shoulder lift as the knees go over. Then bring the legs back to center. Change the cross of the legs, keeping the left shoulder heavy, slowly take the knees over to the right.
Knees come back to center. Stretch the legs out. Shavasana course pose. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. And make sure as you lie here that you spend at least five minutes